this recording uh, is going to discuss Ohm's Law, which I think should probably be review for you from science class, uh, but I'm going to go through it anyway. Just a reminder that there are a million videos on YouTube and web pages that can explain this to you probably in a better way than I can. Uh, but, uh, you might, I mean, you might as well start by listening to me and then if you need further help, uh, either you can contact me and I'll, I'll try and refer you to something that'll help you to understand it. Or, uh, you can just, uh, take to the web first and find somebody who is a uh, smarter and better than teacher me than me on YouTube and, uh, and get it done there. Okay. So just to reiterate the properties of electricity that we are discussing here are uh, the potential difference in voltage. Uh, we also refer to that as the energy or E in a circuit. Sometimes you'll see it abbreviated just as V for voltage, but uh, all of the modern examples you'll find use E to indicate the potential difference uh, or the voltage in the circuit. The uh, resistance is the opposition of uh, the materials in the circuit, whether it's the conductive pathways or loads or our artificial resistors placed in the circuit. Uh, and that is measured in ohms, uh, named after uh, George Ohm in, I believe, uh, 1826. And uh, current, um, again, it, it would seem to be uh, a good idea to abbreviate current as a capital C, but that means degrees Celsius, so we use a capital I to indicate intensity, and that's a measure of the actual flow of electrons through the circuit. So if we look at our, our, um, our water analogy, which is often used to describe the properties of electricity, uh, energy, the energy is uh, it's like the pump. You can have a low pressure pump or a really high pressure pump. Uh, and and really, uh, higher the pressure, the more capacity there is to deliver water uh, through a hose. Uh, R, that's your hose. Uh, and this is just simply governed by the size of the hose, the ability of it to carry water. Smaller hose can carry less water than a, than a fat one, right? Uh, a garden hose uh, will fill your swimming pool a lot slower than a fire hose, no matter what the pressure of the pump. And then uh, intensity or current, this is the actual flow of water through the hose, which is, a you know, we use that symbolically for the actual flow of electrons down a conductor. So uh, this is the basic Ohm's Law formula triangle. And uh, as you've probably seen with triangles, if uh, triangle equations, if you have two of the values, uh, you can easily come to the third one uh, because... Uh, I mean, you can employ the triangle to find what you don't have. So in the case of my first example, we're going to suggest that uh, we don't have the intensity in the circuit. So we don't know what the current is, but uh, the E... Oh, hang on. Oh, we've gone all equals 9 volts. And the resistance... Oh, something. Somehow I'm clicking the wrong things here. Resistance equals 100 ohms. So energy is unknown. And, uh, sorry, uh, intensity is unknown. Energy equals 9 volts. And resistance equals 100 ohms. If you've used a triangular formula before, you would know that E equals I times R. R equals E over I. And I equals E over R. Um, just a simple way to arrive at the right formula. So I, which we don't know, is going to equal, and then we got a sub in, so it's E over R, which is I equaling uh, E, which is our voltage, that's 9 over 100, I equals, and we just do our division, 9 divided by 100, and we get decimal 0, 9, and the unit of measure is amps. And that's, uh, that's indicated up here in the formula triangle, E's volts, I's amps, and R is ohms. So uh, that's pretty simple. If uh, if you're missing something else, let's uh, you know perhaps we should do a uh, another quick example. Let's see if I can clear out what I've written here. Hey, we get to watch me delete all my writing. I'll get a handle on the software soon. 
So we'll do a second example as you listen to me click all the... Uh... Okay, that's as far back as we seem to be able to go. That's fine, we've got the screen mostly clear. Uh, so let's find... Let's do one where we have to find uh, something else. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just going to look uh, through my example sheet here and determine that I have to find uh, a voltage in a circuit uh, where there's 50 amps of current flow and uh, it looks like... Uh, so I'm going to look for the voltage uh, when there is... so voltage is unknown current flow is 50 amps and the resistance is, uh, in this case, 20, uh, sorry, that's 50 amps, and the resistance equals 20 ohms. Again, I'm sorry, I'm working on it. So uh, here, if we're looking for energy, which is the, the voltage there, E equals I times R. So this is uh, E equals I times R which equals, uh, in this case, 50 times 20, which equals 1,000 volts. There. Simple. Just, uh, just put the formula, in, you know, put the unknown into the formula and figure it out. Okay, so we have a, uh, a second formula as part of Ohm's Law. That's the power calculation formula over here. And uh, I think I'm going to make a second video for power calculations. And I'm just going to leave you with Ohm's Law for the end of this video. Okay. Uh, I hope that's clear. And if it's not, uh, just contact me.